Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. It's Monday. Again, what a brilliant time it is to be a Spurs fan. Second in the league, riding high, two points behind Leicester, three points ahead of Woolwich, seven points ahead of Man City in fourth. Bloody hell, I don't even know what's happening. It's hard to live. I don't know what, I, I, all I'm thinking about, 24-7 Spurs. Anyway, this is your seven o'clock Spurs. Bit of news from today. Brad Friedel went on TalkSport earlier on and talked about how he thinks Spurs' title chances are getting stronger and stronger. He also gave a great insight into what it's like working under Maurizio Pochettino. He says that Pochettino worked incredibly hard to change the mentality of the Spurs players. He talks about how Spurs have always been known as a soft touch and that was something that he did feel within the, chest, the dressing room there. That the belief wasn't always there to play on a Thursday and a Sunday. People would talk about fatigue, people would talk about not being able to do it. Pochettino has come in and Friedel said he doesn't even think tired or fatigue is in his vocabulary and therefore not in Spurs' vocabulary or mantra anymore. It's all about belief, drive and getting things done and yesterday's result against Swansea proved that. So I like what Friedel has to say there. He's clearly a very big fan of Spurs still even though he's back in America now. Uh, he was of course an ambassador for Spurs for a while. I think he may even still do that on the side a bit. And he was a great goalkeeper for us, Brad Friedel. So brilliant to hear him talking positively about the Lily Whites. Second bit of news today is from an ex West Ham and Chelsea player. So usually I wouldn't want to talk about this, but Frank Lampard has named Deli Alley as the player he most loves watching and would love to play against. The quote is, I love watching Deli Alley. He's a fantastic young player. I would love to pit my wits against him. That's great, isn't it? Just shows how far Deli Alley has come that some of the best players that England have had in the last 20, 30 years have come out and started talking about what an exciting talent he is. Bit of a worry with him yesterday, stubbing his toe in the warm-up. He did play 90 minutes, so hopefully it should be okay. He came out, I know, after the game, and spoke to some of the press briefly as he walked through and said he thinks it'll be okay for West Ham. He's a vital player for us, so let's make sure we get him fit. Uh, if there are any doubts about the West Ham game, then, I don't know, maybe maybe save him for Saturday, but we do need him. He's a fantastic player. He stretches the game so well. He bring, Because of how good he is, two or three defenders often come over to mark him, and that opens up space for some of our other attacking talent. What a signing, five million pounds. Deli Alley, steal of the century, alongside Toby Alderweireld. Paul Mitchell, once again, props to you, Pro uh, props to Pochettino, and props to Daniel Levy for getting rid of Dan uh, Franco Baldini. Best thing you ever did, Daniel. Okay, guys, so they're the two news stories from today. Let me know what you thought of them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. I'm starting to think about it. I'm too nervous to think about it, but it's coming into my brain all the time. And it's happening 24-7. Could it be?